Hi friends, this video is about an SMPS power supply repair, a switching mode power supply or switch mode power supply. These power supplies are commonly used on uh, set, -top, set top boxes, uh, digital receivers. Uh, I will discuss all details of the repair uh, about this uh, switching power supply repair uh, this had been sent to me one of our subscribers and he was about to repair this and also uh, he was about to uh, receive a video about this so i'm making a video for all my friends uh, so then you will people will get knowledge about uh, its repair uh, so hopefully you people will like this video and uh, you people will subscribe my channel and also uh, press on bell icon and press on all so then you will get notifications uh, this uh, power supply you know uh, this is based on Fairchild uh, switch uh, this is a very famous switch 5L0380 5L0280 uh, these power supplies are very common you know uh, very simple power supply this is the primary side this is the hot side a hot side is uh, taking the line voltage and this side is cold uh, where the high voltage is that is hot and where the low voltage is that's uh, cold so this is the barrier and here is the cold this is the secondary or low voltage side and this side is hot or primary side or high voltage side uh, we will see what the problem is normally the problems are coming in high voltage side but in low voltage side also uh, so my friend he said that mm, you have to repair this or minimum you have to uh, send a video uh, so I don't know whether the switch is good or bad uh, I ordered some switches uh, from the chief from Fairchild uh, but I don't know this one is good or bad let us see uh, i will repair it in front of you so here was a smoothing capacitor uh, there is a smoothing capacitor in every power supply that is uh, 400 volt value for uh, 220 volt power supply 220 volt line is taking 400 volt capacitor so how much will be the microfarad value you know uh, microfarad is somewhere from 47 to 100 uh, so this is after bridge rectifier so after the bridge rectifier the voltage is coming some way you know 400 volts 300 volts is coming so the capacitor should be 400 volts uh, microfarads how much it will be i mean to say how big capacitor you can install that's a better one but the bigger capacitor will have bigger size so the size will be a problem for you mm, so we will go for a comprom compromise uh, from 47 to 100 microfarad will be better 68 microfarad is also okay uh, how much you have you can fix so we will fix this capacitor because the capacitor is not there i didn't do anything with this power supply i don't know what is bad and what is good in this one but let us see i will explore in front of you uh, such a circuits which are coming through courier or uh, people are keeping them with them or uh, they are working on loose connections are developed dry, jo dry joints or dry solder joints are uh, developed and also what I can see uh, this circuit uh, has exposed to water also because I can see some water damage marks damage is not there but uh, some rust I can see on the jumper wires so these jumpers sometimes they need replacement and sometimes they need repair and sometimes they don't need uh, but at the moment we are not doing any repair on these but while I will ship back this power supply to my friend I will sure replace uh, all jumpers so all the components we will wiggle all the heavier components especially like transformer uh, you can see on the transformer uh, legs there are many points for the transformer especially on the secondary side uh, some legs are loose uh, some are uh, showing dry joints uh, and here is the switch this switch is the at the height at the most height position the switch is so let us see while i am wiggling on the switch i can see loose points under the switch the legs are uh, 
broken or loose from the PCB uh, so the procedure is straightforward I did it before also uh, how we will repair is we will need some wire a uh, flexible uh, hookup wire will be needed uh, to repair the broken printed circuit board because without um, wire if you will repair uh, that will not be a perfect repair that will gonna open again uh, so we don't need that we don't want that uh, we will have to flux this uh, wire a colophony I'm using uh, to make fluxing from here we will connect it and the other side we will connect where it is connecting on the PCB we will not introduce any new connection I mean the new connection is should not be introduced if it is introduced it will be a short circuit and SMPS power supplies they don't like short circuit they don't need want short circuit if uh, any short circuit is created your power supply will be broken or uh, uh, you will create a big short circuit and big headache will come uh, so this should not be where the connection was we will connect over there uh, by this wire I am connecting pins to the, together I mean from the switch or the transistor IC which what you can say the Fairchild IC or the switch I am connecting uh, to the other components on the PCB uh, where they were already uh, so this way I am soldering the soldering is very basic you know the soldering should be perfect also uh, this is what is compulsory because bad solder is not good I re removed it from the very close and I cleaned also so that it will not touch to the other trace on the transformer pins I will also solder the legs of the transformers I will solder because if I will not solder them uh, a good power supply would even not work because transformer is a compulsory part of the power supply if it will not work I mean to say the solder dry joints will be there under the transformer legs it will not work uh, so I did I did everything now is the time for the capacitor so for the capacitor you have either you have to purchase a new capacitor from the market or you have to take it from one of the donor board so I have a donor board and uh, I have a 400 volt and 100 microfarad uh, capacitor uh, which is which was there in the donor board uh, somewhat for the same purpose but the donor board is broken uh, so we can connect these positive negative are there positive negative you should take care this is positive and the line side is negative uh, so this is important that you have to connect perfectly in the perfect way in the proper way otherwise your capacitor will be broken uh, or uh, it will create a problem for your uh, rest of the circuit or either it will not work or it will be bursted or something like that mm, so this is and now you can see where we will connect the negative the negative is the shaded area if you cannot understand you have to see for the other capacitor how they, this that capacitor is connected you will have to connect in the same way uh, so this way if we will put it in it will be perfect other side I will have to melt the solder so this way the legs came off of the PCB and uh, I soldered them perfectly now is the time to test this power supply if you repaired any power supply the better way the better choice is you have to use a series lamp uh, this is a hundred watt uh, 220 volt lamp so it will limit the current and also it is a good uh, testing procedure that you have to put uh, the power supply in first start in the series lamp because if any short is there still uh, it will show visual ins uh, indication will come through the light of the bulb uh, so while we will start if this will be good uh, the light will come once and it will go off again in a moment so this is the uh, indication of a good power supply and if the power capacitor uh, the power supply is shorted so the light will come all the time uh, that will indicate some short inside the power supply so now I will give you a demonstration of this thing now I'm going to power it up in series lamp is there in the way uh, it is coming in the way so let us see how it is powering up so as you saw that the light came and it switched off now the power supply is switched on but the light is not glowing it means that 
it's okay and now is the time to test this power supply so the output so output uh, connector we will check the voltages voltages are normally written uh, so these voltages are written 30 volt is written so 30 volt is 30.39 30.4 volt it's okay and the next we will check one by one all the pins we will test uh, don't create any short circuit in the output side uh, otherwise it can create a problem so 22 volt 22.58 volt i can read and uh, that one is uh, 22 volts uh, next you can see <coughs> some pin will be grounded uh, the, the, those will show some millivolt reading or no reading or zero reading or something like that uh, will come so let us see we have to verify all the voltages as you can see here uh, 12 volt is coming 12.68 volt is coming 12 volt is written so this is other voltage is 8.6 volt is coming uh, then next is ground uh, 3.6 volt is coming which is 3.3 is written but 3.6 it is showing so it's okay little little voltages are high but uh, this is not a problem uh, power supply had been repaired and uh, the lamp is how it is showing is it's not glowing at all uh, so it means that we repaired this power supply all the voltages are coming good so hopefully you learned something from this video uh, if you learned something from this video give a big thumbs up to this video uh, subscribe my channel uh, press on bell icon press on all so you will get notifications on each upload i am uploading very frequently and also i will bring video on this switch uh, 5l0380 switch i will bring more videos uh, i will show the data sheet for this one and i will explain each and everything about this switch uh, so further videos will come uh, stay tuned and also keep on watching my videos thanks for watching